Hello, my regulars, and welcome new listeners to the Reese on the Regular podcast. I am so excited for this episode, guys. I have Brianna and Sabrina, the best twins ever, with me today. My name's Sabrina. I go to the University of Massachusetts Lowell, and I am a business student. I'm Brianna Leet. I go to Bridgewater State University, and I'm studying speech pathology. So they're both on awesome paths, and we go back to dance. We started dancing together. How old were we? Like... Middle school, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. long time ago, long time friends, and we stayed close, which I'm so happy about. But they just got back from a long study abroad experience, and I am so excited for today's episode because I want to hear all about it. I feel like this is going to be so good for anyone who's planning to study abroad or if you're heading abroad soon. This is just going to be so helpful to even inspire people who don't even think they want to go abroad to go abroad. So I'm excited to hear from you guys. And when did you guys get back? Just a little over a week ago so on the 22nd everything's fresh in your minds i'm sure (laughs) i'm just gonna ask you guys everything and anything and i'm excited to hear all about it yeah we're excited (laughs) if you guys want to start by just telling everyone where you guys studied abroad and for how long we studied abroad in athens greece we were there for uh three and a half months but we also went to Rome, <laughs> we went to Barcelona, went and everywhere. we went to Switzerland. Oh my god, so <laughs> in many different awesome. islands. Yeah. How did you guys make the decision to go to Athens? So it's actually funny, because before we even made the decision on like where to go, I think it's just like you make that decision of going abroad, but I actually chose to go first. My roommate, it kind of inspired me. She went to Cyprus, mm-hmm. which I thought was super cool, super interesting. So I thought like, hey, why don't I go to abroad? I feel like it's a great thing to study abroad while you're in college. I don't know, I feel like it's convenient. Mm -hmm. I made the final decision like over my winter break and Brianna was like, hey, like, why don't we go together? And I was like, okay. And to be honest, I was scared. I was like, no, (laughs) I'm not going alone. I can't, I thought I was never going to go because I just couldn't do it by myself. I mean, I probably could, but I was like, I think it's better that, like, we went together. Right. I think that's so cool that you guys went together. Like, I would love to bring Brooke with me, but that would be a a tough one. (laughs) Um. With, like, that decision, what made you guys choose Greece specifically? When choosing the location, you have to, like, decide what program you want to go through Mm -hmm. because this specific program will, like, guide you through the process. And so I think when we were deciding the location, we wanted to figure out which program both of our schools had because mm-hmm. we go to different schools we just we saw greece and we were like that looks so fun <laughs> within the website it showed like all the locations like the excursions that they bring you right on, mm-hmm. within like tuition and so everything i don't know everything to us sounded really fun i mean also like what kind of i guess what kind of stuck for me like a little bit of a con was like i couldn't go for my major mm-hmm. because we wanted to do it together so we had to see what school had both finance classes as right. well as I was, I'm a psych minor so I took psych classes there we also looked like what kind of is the cheaper option too and it yeah. was Greece but we did so many things as well also like finding which programs and locations are kind of similar to your tuition costs I don't know because yes. when it came to very us, true we, yeah. di- we didn't want to spend like way more than what we were already spending you know what I mean you would think it would be way more like but honestly like most of the programs are like it's like pretty equivalent yeah for like everything you're getting out of it yes Yes. (laughs) versus like being in a dorm you're like wow (laughs) like (laughs) housing the excursions like just all the different things that you do price is reasonable did you guys look at any other options other than Greece or was that kind of just like an immediate pick for you I was thinking like more like Italy and Portugal Mm -hmm. because again that's where our families are from but Then I was looking at the cost and like, especially to go for my major, it was like 25 to 30,000 just for a semester. Yeah. And of course that's before financial aid. But again, I I didn't think I was getting much aid. So I'm like, I'm not going to (laughs) go, go crazy just for one semester. Mm -hmm. I looked at Italy as well. I also looked at Spain. Spain looked really nice too, but Mm -hmm. we, we did trips to those places as well. Obviously we didn't stay there for three and a half months and get like that full experience but it was still nice seeing it yeah that's like the great thing about abroad like you get to go everywhere anyways so it's really about like picking the place you want to spend the most time in and that just makes the most sense I spoke a lot to 
it was a, like a study abroad advisor that mm-hmm. they had and she really helped like guide me like what with what classes I could take. Making like, sure you're on track. Right, yeah. Making sure I didn't like graduate like a semester behind. She definitely helped me a lot. And then with the program that we were into, they had advisors as well. And so what program did you guys go through? What was it called? It was called ISA. Okay. So it stands for International Studies Abroad. And honestly, like they were really helpful. I would also say like my study abroad counselor was like so way helpful too they actually help you like fill out like uh, scholarship applications as well that's awesome and I highly recommend applying for the Gilman scholarship because it's five thousand dollars towards your study abroad experience but you do have to write three essays but they're not hard essays (laughs) to like develop but they do help you with it in my school like they helped me outline the essay, draft it. I had to go to a workshop with them and they gave me $500 just for doing that, which was nice. That's awesome. So yeah. yeah. I think they definitely help you prepare for it too. And like they had meetings that we would go to just like prepare us for something called like culture shock, Mm -hmm. um, something that you get there. And then I guess you can also get culture shock coming home as like a thing. So like they would discuss that a lot. Yeah. They would like tell you how much money to bring, what to bring, what to do when you get there, the paperwork. Oh my God, the mm-hmm. paperwork just to go abroad is like crazy, insane. <laughs> There's too Applying much. Applying for a visa <laughs> and yes, like yes. everything. The visa process. All yeah. of it. <laughs> yeah, so my program's API that I'm going through okay. right now. Okay. Just like a similar thing. I've yeah. gone to them a lot so far for just like the beginning process, but that's good that they've prepared you guys too for like culture shock coming back, right. like yes. things you wouldn't think about. Right? Yes, exactly. I know. So obviously a lot of planning goes into study abroad. Yes. How did you guys plan, just to start, how did you guys plan financially? We made the final decision in January and we left in September. So we had, we had like nine months to figure out like, how much to save just kind of come up with like a like a rough a ballpark estimate, yeah, yeah of like how much money to save up before going and like obviously when you go like you don't want to like drown your whole bank account so it's like financially you have to be very specific on like i guess like what like a monthly budget would be or mm-hmm. just like what you really want to like spend your money on something that we had talked about too was like how many trips we wanted to go on Mm -hmm. like if we wanted to do big trips for example for Thanksgiving we went to Rome for I think like five days Mm -hmm. and then we went to Switzerland it was literally I think like from Friday to Sunday we Mm -hmm. were there like um two nights I think we just had to figure out like what we really wanted to spend our money on I guess we didn't like write down on a piece of paper like what we were spending each month but we were definitely very careful just an estimate like depending on how much you want to spend or how much you're going into it I personally, like, I was like, okay, I feel like $4,000 is good for the whole, you know, three and a half months that I'm there. Mm -hmm. So I think we tried to do a ballpark of like a thousand a month. uh Yes, we probably went over it some months (laughs) than others. I've also seen other people be like, you should bring ten thousand dollars right. three months. I've heard it all. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, it's, like <laughs> it's it's honestly like really up to you and like what you want to spend mm-hmm. your money on. It just comes down to just like being careful on like what you spend your money on because when you're in Europe, people know that you're American. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So so they will scam you. So just kinda like be knowledgeable. Be aware, right? right. Yes. And, like, and the pit pocketing. Yes, be aware. Yeah. It did thank God it didn't happen to, to us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like I wouldn't have a bag that's just open. I would, like, when we were in Italy, especially Italy, because I know you're going, (laughs) I I kept my cards in my jeans. If you had a bag, just, like, putting it in front of you and just, like, Mm -hmm. just, like, keeping your hand on it to make sure no one would open it. With pickpocketers, too, what they'll try to do, because you don't know that they're pickpocketers, obviously. They're good at what they do. They're very good. They're very good. And so sometimes, like, children will come up to you, distract you, while their parent is, like, taking it, and it's, like, I've I've heard of someone in like the situation where a little kid was like tugging on their stuff like (laughs) yes so yeah just be careful and another thing that we did that I think everyone should do if you're going abroad is getting a credit card that has like no foreign transaction fees one of our roommates when she would use her debit card somewhere it, someone ended up hacking into it right. and yeah. it would get shut down. Yeah. And this happened to, I think, like two of her cards, right? Yeah. But debit think, cards. So yeah. if anything, I would just try and use your credit card at mm-hmm. a lot of places. And I would also ask your advisor when you get to the certain country, 
what ATMs you can trust mm-hmm. because there are some that obviously just take your card and you never get it back. Right. Our school, we got lucky, had an ATM, so we would just take out cash. Oh, that's awesome. But yeah, the one we got was um, through Capital One. Yeah. It was okay. called Saver One. So that's a that, that's one, a fair, Saver One. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good card to get. <laughs> I would just honestly advise not using your debit card at all. Just like when it came to like paying for things, mm-hmm. I wouldn't use it at all because you have that risk of somebody hacking it. I'm pretty sure it's easier to recover a credit card rather than your debit card. Yeah. You know? I would say, like, my big thing was, like, okay, I need to work. Mm-hmm. Like, because, first of all, I have a car that I also have to pay for, too. So, right. I'm, like, even though it kind of stinks, <laughs> I still have bills at home. <laughs> but, I mean, I also have to think about, like, how much am I budgeting for abroad. Right. Like a ballpark. Too. Yeah. 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 You don't right. want to be too hard on yourself. <laughs> but you don't want to come home broke, either. No, no. right. Ex- <laughs> yes. Another big question. How do you prepare to pack? What do you pack? Oh my gosh. So we're we very are, different. Yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we're the complete opposite. I am like an insanely like I'm really bad. Well, I'm I'm an overpacker. Like, yes, that's just me. Just flat out like I'm really bad at like overpacking. I have a hard time like limiting myself as to like what I should bring because I think to myself and I'm like, oh, but maybe I'm gonna need that. Mm-hmm. If I was to do it again. I would just pack the basics, you know, because Mm -hmm. I did get, I got a lot of clothes when we were away Mm -hmm. and when we were packing to come home. She had to put sweaters (laughs) in my (laughs) carry-on and my suitcase and I was like, I can't, I can't. (laughs) But I, see what I did, I packed a lot of my summer clothes because again, where I was going was hot. But I also like... (laughs) I packed enough clothes for the week. I had to do laundry every oh week, gosh. obviously. Oh. <laughs> I packed enough clothes. No, it was that so lasted me for a week, honestly. Oh. And how? <laughs> no, right? I would feel like something's no, I, missing. I, I need and to go then, home. And then by the end of like the trip, I got so sick of like I, I, I just I kept wearing. yeah, I kept saying I was like, I can't wait to just like go home to my wardrobe and just like mm-hmm. wear the clothes. I don't even know. I just like had by the end of it, I felt like I had nothing. I was like, I'm wearing the same stuff all same, the time. Yeah. I can't do this yeah. anymore. But I will say, obviously pack like a really comfortable pair of sneakers because you're mm-hmm. going to do yeah. a lot of walking. I'm sure everyone's heard that. Yeah. <laughs> they want to study abroad. But also, if you want, like maybe packing like, I don't know, like a casual pair of sneakers or something like that just mm-hmm. to like go out in or whatever. And... I, I know I really want to go crazy with the shoes because again you got to pack like she had like <laughs> five or six <laughs> pairs of shoes to go home with. And it was like, no, oh it gosh. was so bad. But yeah. what I would do is pack a pair of just like one pair of sneakers. I'm really bad with shoes because I I love sneakers and shoes in general. So just like if I were to do it again, I would pack one pair of sneakers, which is what I did. One pair of like comfy like leather shoes yeah. okay. to last you throughout the trip. Mm-hmm. I got a pair. If anyone needs a recommendation, <laughs> I, I got everyone's a, like, we don't want no, it. Right. <laughs> I got a pair of um, Vejas. They definitely are like on the pricier side, but they're a really good like quality leather shoe, I yeah. guess. And like I walked, I, I like walked with them every day, and they're still in great condition. Yeah, I mean, if you want to go a cheaper route, <laughs> there are uh, these shoes. <laughs> My Adidas called Stan Smiths, okay? <laughs> they are also very comfortable, and I wore them probably every day. And yeah, yeah they lasted me. I like but both options. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah. And even just to walk around your dorm, too. Um, oh, pack a pair of, like, flip flops or something. Even, Ooh, like, yeah. shower shoes, too, if you wanted. Okay. And, I mean, you can easily get a cheap pair of slippers, too, to mm-hmm. walk around your dorm, too. Mm-hmm. And if you're studying somewhere warm, make sure you still bring a right. winter jacket. Oh, the cold yeah. trips. That's, <laughs> that's where we went wrong. We did not bring any sort of winter coat. It's tough doing that, though, because it's like when you're packing, you're like, well, like, you leaving, like, you're probably going to wear a winter coat because it's going to be freezing here. Right. But it's like yes. we left in beginning of September. It was still hot. We're like, I'm not bringing my I'm winter bringing coat. jacket. I don't need and it. And then... And then when we went to Switzerland, we were uh, like screwed. I was because, sorry. I was really like, <laughs> I refused to buy a winter jacket because I was like, I have one at home. I'm not, like, uh, I, this is going to be such a waste. Yep. Like, I'm not going to bring it home. And I wish I did because I was, it was awful. I was freezing. It was Switzerland's like first snowfall, snowfall. of like their season, but it was still fun. But it, we had a few it, layers and it was fine. Yeah. Like, we, we made the best yeah. of it. Greece's weather is very, like, it's usually very hot. And when we got there, it was hot. It was like, 90, yeah. 80 degrees, and then until like end of October. Yes, yeah, like, till end of October. You guys got there in September. Or? September. So it didn't start cooling down until I would say probably like mid-November. Yeah. So wow. we were still wearing, but like even in November we were still wearing like wearing shorts, shorts. And t-shirts. Yeah, yeah. And especially where we had to walk to, 
for some reason, like, the housing that they gave us, um, they had, like, multiple different <laughs> buildings to live in, but yeah. our building was a mile away from the actual campus, and oh. it was, like, an all, like, It was a 20-minute walk, walk yeah, was uphill, like, uphill. gradual <laughs> uphill, oh. and I was like, yeah, all right, I'm <laughs> in it. We're going to do this. But I also didn't want to pack too much because, right. again, you're going to do shopping, mm -hmm. right? Especially in Italy. Like, mm -hmm. yes. The, in Greece, it was significantly cheaper, cheaper. than what it was That's in the what US. I've heard. And that was a thing, like, we knew, like, okay, we are gonna, like, try to pack as light as we can, mm -hmm. but also we're gonna buy a ton of stuff there because yeah. it wasn't as expensive. Even just to eat, like, literally, like, we would get um, these things called yitos, and they were, like, three euros and 60 cents yeah. that that was wow. a meal like, like that's crazy like we would go out with like us two and like another one of our roommates and like I, like i think our bill would literally come to like 18 euros like it was not wow yeah <laughs> any other items that like you were surprised about like wow that was a great thing to pack or like something you wish you had packed i would make sure to pack the stuff that you know that you can't get in europe mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah. if you have like any like medication yes. for me it was like my acne medication, like I can't get that. Although they do have a pharmacy, it's like you want to have your it's specific. specific yes. Yeah, but like when it came to stuff like shampoo, conditioner, we just got it there. Like we're like we're not taking up space in our suitcase. What comes in handy on the long plane ride is that neck pillow <laughs> that we yeah. forgot oh. to bring, and we oh suffered yeah. On the how far <laughs> was the, like, how long? So the first flight was seven hours to Germany, mm -hmm. and then it was, like, two and a half hours to Greece. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Coming home, it was longer. Because I, I, I don't know if it's, like, you're going against the wind. Yeah. Thing. The time and so we flew for, like, a total of, like, probably, like, 11 hours. Wow. And so we bought a neck pillow. Well, I bought a neck pillow, like, at the airport because I was, like, I literally, I can't, like. Yeah. That was our just savior not. because yeah. your neck is going to kill yeah. you. <laughs> Something that I wish that I got before I left was, I think you can get like these like travel backpacks on like Amazon. Yes. Yes. I've been looking at those. Okay. It's like pretty much a suitcase I, as yes, a backpack. I would get that because when you're traveling, if you're going by plane, a lot of the airlines will weigh your carry on beforehand and then oh, you'll have yes. to check it in. When like, yes. I don't know, like me personally, I just like to have it with me, but right. like it's a backpack. Mm -hmm. It's a personal item. Like you just put it under the, yeah. yeah. Like when you do your weekend trips, what we kind of, didn't look into that much was the ticket was like okay your carry-on has to be a certain weight and mm -hmm. we're like what you know, so when we got there they're like all right guys we're gonna we're gonna weigh your carry-ons and we're like oh, oh. all right next time backpack <laughs> how'd you guys emotionally prepare like oh. i know there's probably a lot <laughs> oh of like fears my. and like leaving home it's definitely very sad leaving and the day that you leave is honestly probably like the worst, the worst, the day, worst ever. day ever. Like I just Ugh. wanted to go at that point because it's just like the whole day is just so sad because you know you're not coming home for like another three and a half months. Mm -hmm. But I feel like having each other there was definitely such a comfort thing. Mm -hmm. It's easier than just going by yourself. Like it's nice having someone that you know. I printed a bunch of pictures like from home mm -hmm. when we got to our dorm in Greece, hung them up on the wall mm -hmm. to like at least help you a little bit with homesickness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will say too, like I know we were lucky enough because we got to go together. But even if you are going alone, like we connected with this girl. Her name is Francesca. <laughs> she was amazing. <laughs> And, like, she honestly helped me, like, not feel homesick. Like, mm -hmm. even though I had Sabrina, but, like, it's just, like, I feel like even if you are alone, like, you will connect You're going to find, someone. yeah. You right. will, right. and it's going to make this the whole experience much easier. But, like, leaving was the literal <laughs> hardest part. Oh, my God. Because, like, everyone's like, all right, are you ready? I know. And it's like, like no. No, <laughs> no, no, I want to go. Like, but oh obviously, of course you want to go. Yes. It's like, I need to be on the plane. Like, yeah. I remember us saying, we're like, we need to be on this plane. Yeah. And I remember the first night, like I said to Brianna, like when we got there, I, li I turned to Brianna and I go, <laughs> do you think we made the wrong choice? <laughs> <laughs> because look, we got to Greece and I think we were expecting like Mykonos, like the, right. blue, like the, the waters in front of us and like the, you know, the white buildings with the blue roofs and yes. we get to the city and we're like, we're oh like, my god, oh geez. this is not what we were expecting. <laughs> like you, you acclimate. You yeah, get, you, you acclimate get, to it yeah. so quickly that yeah. like, it, it became like a new home like that. Right. It and it was mm. so sad leaving. My aunt bought me a study abroad journal. You could collect things, write in it and everything. And I was like, all right, this is going to be good because I can write everything down. Mm -hmm. That's what made me like look forward to it. I was like right. actually excited. I was like, oh my God, I get to like look back and be like, wow, I did all of these things. Right. 
where it's like okay I need to look more towards like the positive than like oh I'm like leaving everybody too. exactly and like also too like I do have a boyfriend like we wrote to each other in a journal it was cool to do that too like it was nice like, yeah and it's like okay yes you're sad that you're leaving but it's also like you're gonna see them again you exactly know? Like, look forward to that look you just the experience that you're gonna have yes yeah. Yeah. yeah I feel you just have to keep in mind like this is only temporary like mm -hmm. you are coming home mm -hmm. and honestly I think we were sadder leaving Greece, Greece. than we were leaving here because obviously you're leaving your study abroad it's like who knows if you're going back like right. you don't know if you're going back so mm -hmm. it's like I feel like that was definitely sadder leaving than like leaving here to go there and did family friends anyone come visit you guys while you were there so no and honestly <laughs> you know what though I think it was the best thing because like no no hate to anybody to no, like if you want to please if your families want to visit definitely have them visit mm -hmm. but I think it would have been harder for us because they would leave mm -hmm. and then we'd be like, oh, like we have another right. month to see them. Like it's it's sad. And for some of our roommates, like their families came to visit and they were sad. Around the holidays, I feel mm -hmm. like, especially like when families would come to visit would be like that halfway point. And like, it would be like around Thanksgiving. What did help is we made literally like the best friend in Greece. Like she- With a, with a local. With a local, yeah. So Aww. her name is Greg. She is amazing. And we went to this gelato place. And I think we've had gelato way too many times than <laughs> we can count. We, like, started going every time she was working. And we would just hang out with her. She invited us over her house to, like, oh she cooked God. a meal for us. Like, we started to become so close. And now we literally talk every day. That's we actually awesome. called each other before we came here. Oh. <laughs> so it's, like, it's, yeah, that helps. I feel like it's such a special thing because it made us realize how different things were back in the US than like how they were here. Mm -hmm. And for me, I thought it was really interesting, just like how they do things in general. Mm -hmm. I was really interested in like pay wages, like what their hourly pay oh, is yeah. compared we, to like the US. We learned a lot about that. We mm -hmm. learned a ton of Greek words. Oh <laughs> my God, I bet. Like you came home, you're using them I'm all. Like, I know what that means, <laughs> I can say that. But yeah, that, that was really cool because even just like we got down to like deep conversations that mm -hmm. we like, talk about like what's the difference like with Greek the way Greece does things versus like America and it right. was cool to just like talk about that stuff. So. And you guys went did you have any familiarity with like the language or not really at all? Um so our our stepmom is Greek and we go to like a ton of her like um like family gatherings and stuff like that yeah. so we've definitely been a lot of like around a lot of people who speak greek we were definitely exposed to like a lot of their culture and like what they do mm -hmm. seeing that and then like going to greece and also seeing that was also like really cool the food they had like we've had here all the time like our stepmom makes it for us stuff like that and we're like oh my god that's like yeah. we have that at home that's like, cool or yeah. like like her family when they do greek easter like mm. the lamb literally like roast <laughs> roasting i'm like oh my gosh like <laughs> this is crazy but it's mm -hmm. like that is that's their like the nor normal their normal yeah. Like, they, yeah that's what they do for easter like so those are things we were kind of exposed to and especially like the greek language not that we could pick it up <laughs> so, i mean it was cool that we knew a little bit about it and that she right. could tell us a little bit about it too like before we went kind yeah. of yeah did you find like language to be a tough thing at all for you yes yeah and especially <laughs> their language too is it's so to oh my gosh it's so hard it's like forget reading it we can like, oh, like, no. because they have like i don't know their alphabet is like a lot of it's simple right. you know what I mean? so yes. like forget trying to do that but even just like trying to learn it just like simple phrases like hello bye just simple stuff i guess did come in handy sometimes especially yeah. like going to the grocery store right like going to like i don't know like google translate mm -hmm. is your best friend <laughs> like just like they have a cool like feature you can take a picture take, yeah mm -hmm. and like it translates it for you because we couldn't find butter for the <laughs> it's so it sounds so like stupid but we literally but couldn't yeah find butter for the longest time i don't think we ever did we literally yeah, just I don't used margarine. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. We got lucky because in Athens, they do speak English more. So uh -huh. it's Greek and English, which was nice. But there were parts when we'd go away where they, they didn't speak any English. Yeah, and, like, and that's tough. We were like, ooh, like, I don't know how we're going to do this. But, like, again, we ended up always figuring out a yeah. way. Just, like, being in situations where, like, everybody around you speaks Greek. Mm -hmm. And, like, you only speak English. And it's, like, you feel so... 
I don't know, in a sense, like, that you, like, don't belong. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. I, like, like, missing I, out. Yeah, I know, yeah and it's like, I wish, I knew we got yeah, about. yeah. Like, it's nothing that I was ever mad about. Mm -hmm. Like, it was just like, right. like, oh, like, I wish I could understand, like, like what oh, was it's going. Different, yeah, we're going to have to accept it. Yeah. And it's going to be fine. Like, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Exactly. But I also think it's it such, out. like, a great thing that we were, like, exposed to that. We were kind of forced to, like, come out of our comfort zone and just, like, be uncomfortable. Yeah. And I honestly, I think it was a great thing for us. Like, you have to be okay with asking someone for help. And it's, like, you can't you can't be shy of that. Like, especially the transportation. Like, yes, that was... No, but I think we, like, mastered public transportation, which I which I think is, like, a really good skill to have. Like, I would... They have they have like taxis and stuff, but we really took advantage of like the metro and the buses. Cause it's a cheaper ticket. It right? is cheaper, yeah. and and it's quicker. It was quicker. It's quicker, honestly. Yeah. Like With Switzerland it. to leave the airport, we had to take like an eighty. I don't even know whatever. Oh my god, Swiss god. it was like Frank. Swiss francs, yeah. but like. And it, like that's like a hundred dollars basically mm -hmm. wow. for like a twenty like minute ride. Yeah, oh. that was an Uber. I don't yeah, know, I don't know if you specified <laughs> yeah, that, but, yeah, but yeah. so <laughs> so next time, if there is a next time that we go to Switzerland, we know to take <laughs> take um, the train. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> were there any other cultural differences you guys noticed that were like very shocking to you there? Okay, one <laughs> big thing for me was like going to school and like everybody does dress up. I don't know, like me personally, I, I get up, I like. If I'm not feeling it, I'll put sweats and a sweatshirt on and go. Right. Like, like I'll get ready, but like I'm I don't want to like put a full face of makeup on, like mm -hmm. do my hair, putting in an effort on my appearance <laughs> when like going to <laughs> when like going yeah. to class was yeah. definitely hard for me. Like yeah. Yeah. because I'm so used to waking up like 45 mm. minutes like before my class starts. I don't know, but as the semester went on, like I feel like I did give up a little bit on that. That was definitely a culture shock for me because yeah. I feel like I don't see that here. At no, all. not as much. No. Their pipes are very small, so you cannot <laughs> flush toilet paper <laughs> oh, you have yeah. to put it in the trash yep and that might be a thing for italy too what yes when we were in when rome, we were in rome <laughs> actually that's a lie when we were in yeah. rome we could flush it yeah. but yeah Greece. that is crazy yep. so, so that was definitely something to get used to barcelona was the same right Yes. Yeah. Wow. So, so I mean, you just had like a designated trash yeah. yes in every bathroom oh. yeah. yeah yeah so that was kind of that was hard. That yeah. was really hard. It's <laughs> like, oh, okay, all right, this is gonna get used to this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something that I thought was interesting, and they explained this to us, like when we did orientation, just some things that like local Greeks will do, like when communicating. If they say yes, it's more like a nod instead yeah. of like actually saying something. Like, like you would think this is like, like it's just like a weird like. No, I think it, I think it was like. I don't even know. They, they, would, they, would do, they would do some sort of like head motion that would like yeah. insinuate Indicate that they're saying yes. yes. Yeah. And then they would also like do this thing where like, they'd be like. Yeah. Yeah. What do, and what, was that like okay or something? I don't know. Yeah, it was that's like, so, yeah, that's yeah, really yeah. weird. We should know that. But like, again, they have different like. like mannerisms. Yes, communication. Right. Yes, that yeah. 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 That was different. I was like, wait, because I remember myself, like I had an interaction and I, I didn't understand. I was like, wait. Like the they're like no <laughs> and we're like oh, oh. <laughs> like this is different did you hear me but, yeah no right yeah, like, it's, like, it's like an awkward moment of silence oh my god <laughs> so going back into budgeting what is the best advice you can give for like having the best experience possible but also like budgeting well managing your money mm -hmm. type thing when it comes to trips and stuff like i would plan beforehand not yes. like months in advance but like for trips, I feel like we definitely planned like a month in advance at least. Mm -hmm. The best trips are always the ones that are like unplanned too. Like right. we definitely went on like some spontaneous trips, which turned out to be like super fun. Mm -hmm. But to be more cost effective, I guess, like just like planning a little bit in advance. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, something that I tried to do, but I, I really didn't stick to it was like, in Excel, like coming up with like a budget, like, or just like giving yourself like a rough estimate, like on food, you want to spend this right. month, mm -hmm. shopping this, travel this. And also, I guess maybe just like spreading out where you travel, I guess. Mm -hmm. In Italy, you can definitely go to a ton of places through train, which yeah. is way cheaper than flying. When we were in Switzerland, it's like you could easily take like the train to, mm -hmm. to, to what, Milan. Milan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I wish we kind of did that more instead of, I mean, we didn't spend much when we took a plane ride. Like mm -hmm. it was maybe like the I most say the most we spent was like probably like one seventy, one eighty. Yeah, it really wasn't yeah. that bad. But I I wish like maybe we did take the train more, mm -hmm. like to go to different countries. Yeah. But again, when we were in different countries, we took the train or we walked. Like Rome, we did. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think one of the days we like walked a half marathon. Yeah. <laughs> no, we did. Like yeah. seriously. Oh and I mean, God. it was great. Cause like we and ate so much yeah. pasta and everything. Yeah. <laughs> ended up. Yeah. Burned it off. No, right? Off. right? But, like, especially like in the, you know, Barcelona, like we used the train. We, mm-hmm. oh, we also did like a hop on, hop off thing. Like a yeah, bus tour. Like a, yeah. Oh. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Do that and like walk <laughs> around the city that way too. Yeah. yeah. So. so I think just like planning in advance. When we did certain like things in different countries, like when we went to Barcelona, we saw the, I think it's Sagrada Familia. Familia. Yeah. It's like this beautiful church. And we mm-hmm. bought tickets in advance. Thank God because. Oh, yes. Buy tickets in advance. Like we wanted to see the Vatican in Rome mm-hmm. and we tried to look that day. Oh, we yeah, that's sold out. It yeah. Was so, so definitely if you want to see certain attractions, I would look at it in advance. Okay. Yeah. You can also do last minute trips though because some of our roommates were like, oh my God, we just found a $50 yeah. ticket to like, to what? like Milan, I yeah. think. Mm-hmm. And I was like, whoa, like, we, you know, you could do that. But right. for me, because I have anxiety and I <laughs> need to plan things yes. in advance, we booked That's it. Yeah. 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 That would be me. <laughs> and give yourself enough time to go to the airport. I guess like early morning flights aren't like they're less likely to be delayed. Yeah. So, and I mean, it is, it does stink to get up early, but book them because yeah. you can, you'll, you know, you'll get there. Get there no, on time. Basically mm-hmm. no problem. Yeah. I think we only ran into one issue where like when we were going home from Switzerland, our flight was delayed. So we didn't get home until like 2.30 or something <laughs> in the morning. Yeah. But that's okay. Oh, it happens. It happens. It's all part of the experience. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Yeah. Go on trips with a bunch of people <laughs> oh, yes. or at least like. For me and Brianna, we always went with one of our other roommates. <laughs> and so it was just three of us. It wasn't a lot, but we did go on other trips like with more people. Mm-hmm. And so that definitely like splits the cost up. Yeah. We stayed yes. in Airbnbs. We didn't do any hostels. Sometimes I wish we sh- we did, we did but, experience it. but also would, hostels yeah. are kind of iffy. Like I, I know that like people, I've heard good things. I've heard bad things. So we just mm-hmm. stuck to Airbnbs and they weren't like, we never spent like, they were never that expensive. Yeah. Really. We yeah. never split like more than a hundred. Yeah. Each. It's doable. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say go with like people that you make friends with just to like split the costs on some things. Along the lines of living situation. Mm-hmm. What was your housing like? So we lived in, in an apartment building mm-hmm. and there was i believe there was like seven rooms like yeah. seven apartment rooms but within those rooms there was 12 people we didn't even know that going in we thought no. we were getting roomed with like six to eight people yeah. and when they said 12 we were like what like <laughs> Ooh, this might be hard no yeah. yeah especially i don't know like living in a room with 12 girls especially like you know, like drama's inevitable, I yeah. guess. There was two single bedrooms and then the rest were doubles. So okay. me and Brianna shared a room. We had Bunk bunks. <laughs> we had bunks. Oh, that was the top. Wow. Uh, but it was nice. We had a full kitchen. And then between the 12 of us, we had four bathrooms. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, so we, bad. like, Doable. although it's a lot of people, we had plenty of space. Mm-hmm. Two fridges, too. Yeah. Nice. Also, if oh. you're going to live with that many people, you guys need to, like, probably pick a shelf or <laughs> a section. <laughs> Label your food because, again, <laughs> you don't want anybody taking your stuff because, again, that did happen. But that's okay. Oh. You know, we all we all figured it out. But, again, it was it was an experience. Like, yeah. It was a great time. We had a porch, too, like a balcony. Yeah, like a, every single bedroom connected to this porch. So, yeah. Like you had a sliding door that would go right onto the balcony. That's nice. And it was, it was huge. And so it was there was like, a good amount of space right. for yes. all of you guys. Yeah, definitely. That's good. Mm-hmm. It was definitely so very interesting, like living with a bunch of people who were not from the East Coast. Because right. like us personally, yeah. we've never been to like the West Coast or even like the Midwest. Mm-hmm. And so like a ton of people were from like Colorado. Seattle. Right? Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. Seattle. Um, yeah, Nebraska. So, like, so it was like all Yeah, they were all, all over the place. place and it was just so interesting just like meeting new people that were from different areas and kind mm-hmm. of just like learning like what their life is like when they're home yeah. in a way. Yeah, yeah. And just just how like that different like differentiates from like being on the East Coast. You'd think that like I don't know, everyone in the US is the same, I guess. But <laughs> right. like no, no. no. <laughs> what classes did you guys take and like how was your experience with that? So I'm a business major, but I actually started college being a math major <laughs> with the intentions of being a teacher. But then that's just something that just I was not interested in anymore. So I switched to business. Um, and so my pathway like is a little like I'm on track credit wise, but like I had to take like two like business classes, I guess, one being macroeconomics, other being like managerial accounting, <laughs> which was great. Um, <laughs> and then and then I took a psych class and an art history class. And we actually did our art history class together. Oh, oh yeah. Fun. yeah. Yeah. When it came to like my business classes, my accounting professor, I thought she was awesome. Like I thought she was great. 
I don't want to say the other professors were bad, but I just feel like I didn't absorb like the content of like the teaching style that they were doing. And I think that was like a common thing that all the professors had. It was like, I don't know, it was just like a PowerPoint. And it was like, they read off of that. They definitely would prepare us for exams and stuff by like giving us study guides and stuff. But also it's hard when you're traveling and it's not your top priority. When it came to midterms, I was definitely a little unprepared. I didn't fail anything, but I definitely had to like lock in when it came to finals. And I, I, I hope I did fine. I don't know. I don't, I, we didn't get the grades back, but like I knew like exam wise, everything was fine. I would recommend if anyone's looking to study abroad, saving your gen eds. Oh, to yes, go. to because go with it because it's better in the long run. So for Greece, schooling is very different, mm -hmm. especially for Athens. So we went to the school called Dury, and basically your grade is your midterms, 40% of your grade, and then oh, your wow. final is 60%. You're graded on nothing else. You oh, don't wow. have homework. I haven't even thought about that, like yeah. what you're actually so, graded on. Right. And that's the thing, like that's also like when you go abroad, it's like, I feel like the last thing you think about is school, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like that's like honestly. You're like, planning that's, everything else, yes. and then you get there, you're like, wait, I have class. Right. <laughs> like, have to yeah, like some people did go for, like for the school because, uh, like let's say, like you're an art history major. There's a lot of history that comes like with yeah. right Greece, yes. and stuff like that. But I personally didn't choose to go for the school. <laughs> I tried, obviously, but it was not. It definitely wasn't my priority. For my school specifically, we have something called breath requirements, which is anything outside your major. Mm -hmm. So students at UMass always will save those up for abroad, which is what I'm doing. Yes. And so taking all sorts of classes, like not finance, business, while I'm there. Right. It's, like it's a semester off it really is it, no, it, <laughs> that's how it felt that's yeah. really how it felt I'm like now I got to go back to reality yeah like, which I'm kind of nervous for oh, <laughs> that's tough with going in the fall like you have another school semester right. like yes. for me I come back I have summer exactly. so that's, that's true that's, that's true I took classes for my minor which actually I thought was better because I took I took a little break from my major. Like that was that was nice. I took diversity of psychology and like social issues, human learning, memory. Mm -hmm. That was a hard class, but I did it. Got through it. And I took social psychology, and yeah, the art history class. I had the same professor for two of my classes, and like she was amazing. I really, I really did like her. She even said, "Please, like you know, let's communicate in the future," which that was that was nice. That was nice. Yeah, I do think yes, the teaching style is like it's literally just powerpoints, and you really just write notes some professors tell you what's on the midterm and final some of them are just like study everything mm -hmm. and it's like i f i didn't do well with that i no. i was like what like <laughs> i have to study everything but again you end up doing fine if you you know kind of put in your head what's important mm -hmm. then you'll be okay i study like right after you know a yeah. class like oh i'm just God. kind she of like knows. that which she is <laughs> too much right <laughs> too much but again like she'd be like studying for like our final right after midterm <laughs> oh started like and i'm yeah. like i'm not that type of person yeah. i also think they hold you accountable more they do so like it's your responsibility to come prepared you know what i right. mean and like if you need help they will help you but it's your job to really like know mm -hmm. like what they're talking about and another thing that I wanted to bring up was like the students at the school that we went to. With the program that we went through, you have to go to the school that they like, th I don't know, that's just like what they do. And so it was a private school, I believe, but oh, all, yes. of, all of the public schools there are free. Something that we learned is like with the private school that we went to, it's like a lot of students who like come from like rich families everyone was very like dressed nice with yeah, like, like Prada very sunglasses. yeah like, like very like wow. very, very like <laughs> luxurious like yeah. Brands. yeah yeah something that I thought was like so crazy and this was like kind of like a culture shock to me I think a lot of the students just like didn't care I guess like like they would walk in like 30 minutes late into like a 50 minute lecture with like no backpack no notebook they would just sit there and then like leave when it was over and like mm -hmm. some students did get like reprimanded for it I guess mm -hmm. I mean they don't get in trouble they get talked to but there it's not taken as seriously finishing your undergrad degree it takes longer yeah like, it takes it, longer yeah. there than compared to here like yeah. you're done in four years but there some people finish like with their bachelors at like 25, wow. 23. Mm -hmm. So school definitely takes longer there, but I also think it's because it's more relaxed. It was definitely a little culture shock too. So obviously when it rains it, and, and it pours, like <laughs> we go to class, like yeah. it doesn't matter. Oh, oh no, in they Greece, can't. they cancel. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's optional. You yeah. don't have to go to class. Uh-huh. That's crazy. And I was like, no uh -huh. way. But like, 
obviously. Like, at home, it's like a blizzard, and they're no, like, school's on. No, right, right. right. And so, you show up to class soaked, you're drenched, and they're like, all right, everyone. Like, yeah, so <laughs> I was like one of maybe like two or three in a class one day, and I was like, why is no one here? And she was like, well, it's raining. And I'm like, oh, okay. I was like, this is different, <laughs> right? That's and cool. she was like, oh, wait, at your university, like, you go and it's raining? I'm like, yeah, when it's pouring, we're there. <laughs> and so how did you guys go about, like, making t it to class, balancing your schedule with also being able to really experience it abroad? I picked earlier classes to take. Like, I, I think... My earliest was like 8.30 and I was kind of like out the latest at like 2 or something. I typically like just studied like during the week. Like I did not study at all on the weekends, mm -hmm. which I was proud of myself, honestly, <laughs> because I usually am just like, all right, I'll, I'll save it for like a Sunday or something. Right. But no, because I knew that like we wanted to do things, like mm -hmm. even just around Athens, but also our excursions right. were on the weekends. I don't know if that it'll be like that for you when you first go, but like for us, when we first got there, it was excursions probably every weekend. Yeah. Wow. And we had some with our school, like yeah, with like Doreen, planned. but also with our program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of cool. We got to do two different things. That is cool. Yeah, I really prioritized like my school during the week. I mm -hmm. was like, I knew I was gonna be like, you know, at my dorm, not really doing much. And on the weekends, we'd be traveling. So, yeah, I really didn't focus much on school on the weekends, which was <laughs> great. That's awesome. I would do most of my schoolwork and studying, I guess. Like, after my classes, I would just go to the library and just... Mm -hmm. Because I don't know why, but I, I just could not focus when we were in our apartment. I think the same was, like, with all of our roommates, honestly. Mm -hmm. The best schedule, I feel like, would just to have, like, to do class, like... Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Right. Oh, yes. Their attendance policy, too, was like for Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes, you could miss nine classes. Unexcused. Yeah, and then Tuesday, Thursday, you could miss six. So I feel like we never got to that point where we were even like coming close to it. Like, mm -hmm. We right. did miss class like once in a while to go away, but when we would plan our trips, our classes, especially on Fridays, would be done at like noon. So we yeah. would go at like one or two and we'd yeah. still have like most of the day. And I would also say like if you can, like definitely and if like you're able to do that, pick Tuesday, Thursday classes yeah. so you have that Friday and Monday off, yeah. you know? Because I know some of our roommates, like, they, they traveled all the time. And, like, mm -hmm. again, because they had Tuesday, Thursday classes. Right. But, again, also, I feel like that wouldn't be great for me. It'd be four classes in a row. That's, yeah. That's crazy. I couldn't do right. that. Right, yeah. yeah. split it up. Does your, like, program have excursions that they're going to take you on? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. Like, they accommodate with the school. So, like, they'll yes. never, right. like, make you miss class, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I'm assuming that most of yours will probably be on the weekends. It was, mm -hmm. this, like, for us, it was the weekends. But then, like, our own trips, like, we would, like, miss, like, a Friday. Mm -hmm. Or when it came to Thanksgiving, we left on Wednesday. So it was pretty manageable. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, for definitely. sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I were like to give any advice, I just I wouldn't take. I took four classes. I wouldn't take anything more than five. Yeah. No. Especially if you have the intentions of traveling a lot, I wouldn't yeah. take too much. Not that you're focusing just on travel, but, <laughs> but like big are. part of it. Like <laughs> I felt like it was kind of a break, like just mm -hmm. from reality and everything going on. Like it was just nice to just like do something for myself and like with people and just really enjoy my time and because it, yeah, it's, it's so a seriously once in a lifetime experience yeah, it exactly is. it yeah. is and you do only get to do it once so yeah. it's like take advantage of it while you can as for the excursions what excursions did you guys go on and like what was your favorite so literally like i think within the first weekend our school took us to the acropolis <laughs> yeah. which which was great it was so cool to see we went to it the acropolis was. they did like a tour of downtown oh, we yeah. went to an area in greece called delphi delphi yes <laughs> and that was cool we yes. saw like the oracle which is really important mm -hmm. there was like a really nice like town downtown called arakova and it's like people who who, who live in Greece, like, they go there to ski and stuff. So, I mean, it wasn't really that cold when we went, thank But God. it was, like, in the mountains type yeah, stuff. Yeah, it, so it was, like, a really nice view. I think yeah. that one was my favorite. Yeah, me too. We also saw, like, the Temple of Poseidon. Oh, it was, oh, like, the really nice sunset yeah. on the o like by the ocean. That was gorgeous. We did a dancing class. <gasps> we did. Really? Yes. We did a cooking <laughs> class. Yes. That, that was honestly cool. Yeah, I honestly cool. really enjoyed the cooking class because I can't cook to save my <laughs> life, so... That was really cool to What'd do. What did you make? We made this, um, so it's like a Greek lasagna in a way. It's called <laughs> pastizio. Yeah. I don't know. Right? And then I we made our own tzatziki, tzatziki which Ooh. was amazing. That sounds so good. And we then we made baklava. baklava. Yeah. <gasps> wow. Oh. That's a great meal. Yes. Right, right, <laughs> so yeah. Good. We also went to the 
Olympic Stadium. I think oh that's what it god, is. Oh my god, that was yeah. cool. And it yes. like where like the first ever Olympics was held. We um, stood on like the um, oh like the pod like the podium. Yeah, I don't know where it was like, like first, first, second, second, third. third. That oh, was cool to do. Cool. Yeah. 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 Where'd you guys travel outside of Greece? So we went to Santorini. Mika, well, that's <laughs> but, <yeah>. sorry. <laughs> we just Santorini, Mykonos. We also went to an island called Andros. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. And then, but outside of Greece, we went to Barcelona, which if you really like to go out, <laughs> yes, yeah, they do. Our roommate was like, "We need to go." We went to a club called she, Downtown, yeah. and it was really fun. Very, very good time. So you should yeah, definitely go. <laughs> we went to Rome and we did a cooking class there. Yes. We made like homemade fettuccine that was oh. literally to die for. Oh my God, we did a 10 Wonders of Rome tour, which was oh, really cool. cool too. Yeah. yeah, I kind of wish we went inside of the Coliseum. Me too. Considering like we stayed in an Airbnb, like literally like right, like Walking right outside. Distance yeah. from the Coliseum. But we like, yeah. we saw the, obviously we saw the outside of it. Yeah. Like, yeah, we yeah, took yeah. pictures, whatever. We saw the Trevi Fountain. Mm -hmm. The Spanish Steps, yes. I think. A lot of high-end stores. Yes, which was like yeah. yeah, the shopping. Oh, mm -hmm. my gosh. And we went to Switzerland, which was amazing and beautiful, but very cold, so pack, pack <laughs> a jacket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we went during Christmas. There's the Christmas markets, yeah. which were really oh. beautiful. Yeah. If I had a recommendation, we didn't go, but I know that like if anyone likes to ski or snowboard, oh, yeah. I think Zermatt. Def is like a really good place to go. Yes. My roommate, when she went abroad in Cyprus, she went there and she loved it. But Switzerland was probably the most expensive that we've, and we knew that going into it. That's yes, why we spent right. the least amount of time there. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think we went to McDonald's one night. <laughs> and we spent like 80 Swiss yeah, francs. Yeah, yes. it was ridiculous. Which, yes, a meal was like 20, um, 20 uh, Swiss francs, yeah. which like, when which was like i think it was like 23 us dollars yeah. did and they I was have like, different food at the mcdonald's they did yes. which was cool yeah like because i've seen that yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. like yeah. they'll have like more desserts and pastries yeah, too, right they do. which is not really yeah. that i mean they do have that here too but like yeah it's different you like they had like a, a, yeah they had donuts. <laughs> it's like wow <laughs> um, get a donut donut. <laughs> we also had fondue there it was we, like oh, it was yes. 30 a person though and we oh. only dipped it in bread. In bread. That's yeah, we it. Only <laughs> yes. So just be prepared to spend a little bit more <laughs> yeah. on that trip. So I think definitely doing your research of, like, where you're going mm -hmm. and just, like, knowing what to, like, watch out for, I guess. Yeah. I will say one kind of regret I have that we didn't go to is Norway to mm. see the Northern Lights. I know. That was, like, like, a crazy expensive. But again, it is expensive. Though. Super but expensive. Oh. But again, hey. It's okay. <laughs> we go back one day. So yeah. what was your favorite place overall that you went to for both travel and also for food? Rome. Rome. Yeah. Rome the for, pasta. for both or yes. for the food? Le um, ooh. I would say, you know what? Santorini was a beautiful trip. I San would say, yeah. we, like, honestly, that was, like, our probably our best trip, like, place that we've gone to. We rode ATVs, oh, like, yeah. all, along, like so cool. all along the island. Like, this certain part of um oh, yeah. of Santorini called Oya. I don't know if I'm saying it wrong, but they're, like, very famous for, like, their sunset. Mm -hmm. It's, like, I don't even know. I feel like it's, like, you look up Santorini on Google, and it's, like, the first picture that might pop up is, like, a sunset with, like, along, like, with all, like, the blue, like, yes. stuff and whatever. Mm -hmm. And, like, that's literally what we saw. But oh. be prepared. <laughs> There's a lot of, a lot people, of people, yeah. like, oh, for like that flood, sunset like, picture. Yes. Yeah. So And it, also, like, Santorini, we got to watch Mamma Mia by the sunset. Oh, yes. Yeah. It was, that was great. Yeah. So, like, really cool. views-wise, I think Santorini, but food, definitely Rome. Rome. And the best mm -hmm. pasta that I had was from, like, a hole in the wall, like, I don't Restaurant. even know. Yeah, yeah. yeah and like it, it's like the places that you don't expect right. to be good that are like the also best. Also a tip, when you go to Rome or anywhere in Italy, mm -hmm. the gelato that's covered <laughs> is the good gelato. The one that's like super mountainy is I mean, it's good, but it's not. Like, I guess it's authentic. not like authentic. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Just, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, I guess the pistachio gelato you expect to be green. It's not. It's like a brown. Oh, that's like the more. Yeah. Okay. I know. So again, so like the best like food and like desserts, I feel like are from like places that aren't the most like aesthetic. Mm. Not saying that like places that are pretty have like awful food yes because we like we've been to some restaurants that were really nice and they had great food but mm -hmm. like the best pasta that i ever had was from like a place that i was like what is this mm -hmm. i was like like i had like the worst expectations going into it mm -hmm. and it was so good that's yeah. so cool yeah what kind of pasta 
yucky. Oh, so good. <laughs> so good. So good. So good. Yep. Anything else you guys really wish you knew before going abroad? That it's gonna go by fast. It's just so crazy, like how fast it went by. And I know everyone says that, but mm -hmm. I didn't. Like, there were definitely some moments within the trip where I was like, oh my God, like I just wanna go home. <laughs> like, not saying that I hated it, but like you definitely have those feelings sometimes of like, I really wish I could just be home or just like go right. home for a weekend mm -hmm. type yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like it, it just, it really does fly by. And I feel like you do come out like with a, completely different mindset yeah. i think and i feel like i'm so much more appreciative of like my life <laughs> yeah like, like i don't want to sound corny no, but. No, no, no. like in general i think i'm so much more appreciative of like my parents and just mm -hmm. like what like what they provide for me and um <laughs> because just honestly, like what we have because yeah seeing like what people don't have right is just like i don't know like it it made me so sad and it made me like, it made me really feel like, mm -hmm. I don't know. And I feel like I've never seen so many like homeless people. This is like such like a off topic thing, but, but I, <laughs> I saw so many like homeless people in like everywhere that we went. Obviously. Yeah. And it just, it really like broke my heart that, and obviously we have it in Boston too, but yeah. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. I just feel like a lot that I learned like through locals too, a lot of people just aren't fortunate. Like, uh, like economically speaking, mm -hmm. I, I don't think like Greece had was in the best situation like speaking a couple of years ago mm -hmm. like we learned through our local friend like the cost of living is going up mm -hmm. but They're their wages aren't like that money yeah that right. so it's just like yeah. an unfortunate situation that mm -hmm. like we obviously we couldn't do anything about it but it just like it gives me a different perspective on life yeah. it makes me yeah. more stuff appreciative. like that's like so eye-opening yeah, yeah sure. it really exactly is. it really does change you like I was like oh, what am I like I'm not gonna be different <laughs> but it's it's just you have a different outlook, basically, mm -hmm. just on, like, how you handle things, how you, I guess, talk to people. Like, you learn to, like, just have more patience, especially communicating as well. Yeah. Like yeah. People yeah. who don't speak the same language as you, you learn to be more patient, which I definitely learned. Because yeah. I'm not mm. patient. But yeah, I know. <laughs> we're so privileged to say that, like, we were able to do this, yes. you know? Yes. Because, I don't know, it's just, like, when are you ever going to say that, like, you were... 20 <laughs> like and you visited like four different countries within the, right. like, the span of like four months mm -hmm. and I know like some people have gone to like a lot more like I know people who have gone to like like 10 like 12 different countries within like however long they were studying abroad but I think it's like I feel like very lucky that I was able to do this mm -hmm. at such a young age yeah. honestly because I don't know if we're ever going to be able to do it again like as much as I'd love to it's like yeah I and I think know. it's such an important time to do it too. Right. Yes. Like right. To it have really is. that mind like eye opening experience now versus mm -hmm. like down the road. Right. Hundred percent. Any other advice that you'd give to anyone who's considering or maybe nervous about studying abroad? Go into it with an open mind. Try not to stress yourself out mm -hmm. because I did a lot yeah. of that. You will meet people because, especially if you're going alone, like there's definitely there's other people that are going alone as well. So like you, you're not the only one. Just keep a positive mindset because you definitely might hit a point where, I don't know, like you feel lonely, I guess. <laughs> when you come out of the experience, like you will be so grateful that you that you did it, you know? Yeah, yeah and I, again, I would literally say just do it. Like literally, like, it's like I had a pit in my stomach for the longest time. Mm -hmm. I was like, there's no way <laughs> I can be away from my family for this long. Right. But again, having a journal too and like, keeping a bunch of like stuff like from Greece like I have train tickets plane tickets like I have <laughs> literally picked like just like it's so stupid but napkins from restaurants that we went <laughs> to like just no, no, but it's awesome like yeah. you have you know all I mean? the memories from it yes and it like it, it flies just, by and yeah. it teaches you to again be more independent mm -hmm. too like again yes we had each other but it's not like we were with each other 24 7 too, right you know like we also had to do our own thing as well you really become like a different person like navigating a whole new world almost yeah. so so just do it's it. Worth it. So just, just do, do it. it. I'm so excited to do it yes. so soon and to share everything about it afterwards. Yeah, and you guys so just happy. made me so much more excited to go. <laughs> oh yay! I can't wait for you to go. Oh. You'll have you'll have so much fun. You will. But thank you guys so much for coming on. Of this was so much fun. Us. I think this is gonna help so many people out. I just learned so much, <laughs> and like I said, I'm so excited now. Thank you guys so much for listening, watching, wherever you're tuning in, and keep leaving suggestions. I hope this was helpful for everyone. But I think that. That's where we'll wrap things up. Yeah. yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.